Packed to the rafters at the bonus arena in Hull. It's the final of the Jewel Bits Tour Championship! <laughs> It's all square, it's all even. Who will be the final champion of the ITV snooker season? Let's get the players to the table. Up first, please welcome the warrior, Kyron Wilson! And his opponent is the magician. Let's hear it for Sean Murphy. Our first session threw up more questions than answers. But no one's questioning the ability of these two. It could be a classic as it was last night. You get used to the flow of finals, obviously all are different. This one, though, has been very out of the ordinary. Wilson 4-0, pegged back to 4-4. Four, four. Mm. Playing so well early on, then having no further success in the second half of the session. It makes it even more difficult to predict what will occur over the next few hours. Well, you get uh, certain 4-4s four and both players would be settling for it, but clearly Karen Wilson would have been very disappointed to have that scoreline after he led this man 4-0. You know, it's a good, probably a good job they had all those hours between sessions to regroup. attempt to both players are very willing to take on long pots they're so good at them <laughs> trying to get the cue ball down the table for safety but you never know where the red's going to finish and uh, if Karen can start this session in the way that he's been starting all of his matches then it will stand him in good stead tonight
six. Seven. A little bit more. The thick cannon would have been better. Now the cue will just drifting up the table in pot in the black. Now does he try to hold for a red or does he go all the way around the table, in and out of bolt, which of course has its own pitfalls, he might hit a bolt colour. I'm sure he'll be pleased with the outcome of this shot. Well played, actually. skill it was one of those situations where he was concentrating so hard on brushing off the pack the pot was neglected one I only assume that Sean didn't have the angle on the, the red to the right of the black there. It was the absolutely stone wall all to be playing. Yeah, because now he's just got a, another tricky shot to follow. Eight. One of the key aspects of Murphy's victory over Mark Selby in the semi-finals yesterday. Excellent middle pocket potting. Today, not quite so accurate. A few nerves around this evening from both players, as you can see. They both started this evening and have kilter with how they started the other matches they've played. Both players have had a good opportunity already and they've squandered it. Yellow ball. Kyron Wilson one. That was a touch of class, but would have liked the cue ball to travel just a few more inches. Very difficult to see where this break is going to lead because obviously get on that red, the right corner, the bottom red near the cushion, but the black not going to the opposite corner means it's uh, hard to know how this break can go on for very long.
Sean Murphy, six. Genuinely scrappy frames have been in short supply in this tournament. This, though, is full of mistakes. One. Now, this is a big shot into the pink from this blue. Screw into the pink, get the reds wide open. Hope not to knock anything in. And he's cleared the black as well. That's worked out really well. Seven. Twelve. Nice shot. There wasn't much of an angle to play with on that black, but he forced 20. it. Took him nicely onto the red. Perfectly. 21. Now the red to the left of the black, the one just below the cue ball. You like to land on that one, and it will really will clear the decks. The black to both pockets. Just glancing over to the scoreboard, it tells him he's got plenty of work yet to do. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Well, checking the scores, the lead is growing all the time. Maybe five points when the black is spotted. value colour would be just about enough. Another red after it would be a virtual guarantee of the frame. 44. In the closing frame of the afternoon, Wilson put together an equally gritty 41, only to be denied at the end. Forty-five. But you can't really see a twist in this tail.
That was frame ball, but it didn't stop him playing with lots of side. To get position on a red that he knows will definitely wrap things up. that uh, had he lost this frame and gone behind uh, with that early 4 nil lead it would have it wouldn't have 59. been the end of the match or anything it would have been a quite difficult thing to accept having led 4 nil played so well Kyron is on 59 and the frame the man who's made nine centuries here 59 sounds modest for that was a potentially significant contribution. Wilson, back in front. The bonus arena in Hull. What a magnificent venue this is Thank for you, what's turning out to be a magnificent match. <clears throat> think when you get as close to those as Kyron did the cue will usually does what you thought it might missed by six inches and the cue ball's out of control but hey, is it not a bad shot even having missed it Tried to swing the cue ball past the blue, but caught the red a little too thin in that regard. Long pot that Sean Murphy has been knocking in not only this week but for about the last month or so.
Not much wrong with that. Just to run through gently on the black. Four. Uh, chance created. Safety shot from Karen Wilson. We hit the blue. That's always the pitfall of the shot he played around the angles wide. And catch it right. The blue is in play and might prove costly that shot. To see off Rob Milkins in the quarterfinals, Murphy knocked in for me the best shot of the tournament. A red down the left hand side cushion went on to make a century. The red he's knocked in here, well, it wasn't as good as that, but it was pretty nifty. I think playing on this red, Nine. it wasn't his first choice. He, the angle he had on the black, it was the easiest red to play on, but it can go astray. 20. The one that he briefly contemplated would require a very awkward reach, so the one to middle is a reasonable 36. alternative, although that wasn't clean. Free. Get the feeling that the six reds are unavailable. The bottom one, I don't know if it will pot to the left corner. It's a little bit close to the other five. So, which means whatever he takes of the three reds that are not in that bunch, you'll need a part of what is in there. Now he's not about to win the frame just yet. 44. Now he's cutting this red back into a semi pliant pocket. There is room past the yellow, but this is tough. Tough, honest, but he made it look easy. Fifty-eight. 
Well, making sure that he was top side of pink on the blue spot this time, and now is the crunch. Uh, yes, he's got a very healthy lead, but like I said earlier, he'll need something of those six reds. So the nudge, more than a nudge, perhaps, and that'll do very nicely. Excellent shot, well executed. It wasn't a huge target. It could have gone wrong. That was a very bread and butter frame ball. Seventy-four. Already his highest break of the match, superseding a pair of seventy-fives. One. one in frame five, the other. In frame seven. Eighty two. Eighty nine. Ninety. His ball striking is superb, isn't it? The way that he brings that cue back and through the ball. He's always had it, but the confidence has not always been 97. there. A little bit of a dip since that world final. But as I said earlier, the last month or so, he's back to absolutely at the top of his game. Emphatic. One hundred and five. Just to underline how well Murphy's played in 2023, the calendar year. The number of breaks he's made over 130 in professional competition. Just this year, already well into double figures. One hundred and eleven. One hundred and thirteen. One hundred and sixteen. Well, the blue's been over there ever since the safety shot from Karen Wilson, which allowed this break to happen. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty five. Oh, what an excellent break this has been. This has been as good as it gets. Many body at a very important stage, drawing back to level, superb. Only the black eluded Murphy. It did not matter. That was simply superb. Murphy and Wilson going toe to toe. It's all square again. Frame 11, Kyron Wilson to break. 
no matter the stage, no matter the status of any particular tournament, you can't guarantee a good final. Sometimes it just doesn't work out that way. Kyron Wilson, when he won the European Masters in early season, he beat Barry Hawkins 9-3, made one break over 50 the entire day. It was a disappointment. This match most certainly is not. Yes, but winning, up, winning that match opened the door to be here tonight. That was one of the reasons, isn't it, as you say? Pick up a title and uh, plenty of spin-offs. I think he's played better at the whole week than at any stage in, in, in that European Masters event, but he came out on top. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree with that. And, of course, the spin-off for Wilson here... Well, climbing to number five in the world rankings and also booking his place in the champion of champions in Bolton November. Murphy's already there. Wilson still to qualify. Aaron Wilson, seven. Didn't notice him might take much of a look at that. Obviously, the black was going to go somewhere near the right corner. Must have done, but it looks a dead plant to me from the shot he played. He actually played the cue ball really well. There seemed to be some confusion there. Karen just got up, walked back to his chair, and he'd actually invited... Sean Murphy to play again. I say invited, of course, it's no choice really, is it? That's to play it. Can't really say he's not going to. in here tonight great atmosphere there's a hush at the right times and the shots are being played i think they know the importance of these early exchanges tonight spectators well, what a shot that is these two are so dangerous at long range i wouldn't like to choose at the moment which one plays the, the better shots that the other from the other end of the table, but they're both knocking them in. Shot to nothing, but of course, as soon as the red went in, Wilson wanted to be on something. Yeah, I mean, he only just missed that left-hand red, and as you say, it's worked out of the shot to nothing. Had he missed it, he may not have got back up there.
life. Nice difficult shot here coming up. It's rolling the, the red through. It's going to try and punch it instead. So Nuno, as I've said before, he's not a touch player, although his cue ball control is, is improving rapidly, but mid-range pots, he knocks in so many of those. Oh dear, that sounded like a miscue. Kylan was from six. It was a miscue, I'm sure. It, Looking at his tip, I think sometimes on these, it's just it, your cue almost just goes over the top of the ball a little. The real shock to the system is that, for the most part this week, when he's been playing off cushions, he's been really impressive. very costly this I've seen it again I wonder, is it a foul shot even I mean I'm not saying the referee should call that but I wonder if he sort of scooped the ball a little hit it more than once the referee's excellent in this match by the way first and final One final thing on the miscue from under a cushion. My co-commentator was Seven. the beneficiary of the worst one I ever saw. Doug Mountjoy was guilty of it in the World Championship in 88. Topped it like a, a golf ball. Eight. Wow. Just when you thought that this cue, that shot that went wrong for Karen was going to be very costly. Sean breaks down. He was overcutting this. There was no pace on the, the object ball either. He knew straight away that it wasn't going to drop. After the miscue comes the miss take. And I'll tell you what, this could be costly. Look at the Reds, no development work to do. Or at least very little. They're all there, sitting pretty. Well, you can see it is a, quite a severe cutback, but we expect these players to knock them in, I guess, maybe too much, because it was a kind of shot you probably think you're going to miss it on the thick side rather than overcut it.
the free Mel Gorska, Kanieska, just putting the black back on. He, he's entitled to ask that, Garen. Obviously, had he played a, another shot in the meantime, there's no ability to have it respotted. It's condoned by then. I don't think there's any difference where she put it the first time to the second. Just further up the table, it would have been a simple shot from blue to next red. Quite so simple now. He looks like he's playing it around the table. And now it's an even tidier table because all colours are on their spots. Fifteen. Nineteen. Twenty-four. Twenty-five. I think he's got a superb temperament. I've always believed that about Karen Wilson. Put on the back foot, having lost four frames in a row from 4 0, but he's come out tonight absolutely pumped up because he needs to be 31. to beat the man in the chair we saw there, Sean Murphy. The form he's been in. I think that Kyron Very believes tall. in himself, he believes that <clears throat> his destiny is to win titles like this. they should all believe it but I don't think that all of the players do believe it he is uh, someone that's 38 all bent on getting to the very top 39 and throughout the season the tour championship is always in his thoughts I mentioned this before this week but you speak to him early season and he's always referencing this event and saying this is one of his goals to get here. Not just in the event. Now he's moving towards winning it. 45. A little bit more to do. Red colour, red will guarantee. Another frame. I think if a player's got a goal 46. to win this event, it means their goal is to have a good season. <laughs> the two things are interlinked, aren't they? This event for the top money earners on the one-year list. Anyway, that might have gone wrong. He's not gone 50. far enough. And he only needs another red, so... There's some mileage left in this frame because of this shot, which was played too gently in pace. The thing is, he could have perhaps played on the black in the previous red, and then there would have been 51 in it. Now there's just a little opening for Sean Murphy, not necessarily here, but he can win.
Yes, because the potential for a clearance is there. One slice of inspiration and... He could nick this by a single point. Three reds, three blacks and all the colours. I wonder if he can get through to this red. He's already looked to see if the black will go. Well, he can. I'll tell you, he's having a go at this. This is very difficult, but... Value's there. Worth a try. Didn't have a safety shot. there for total comfort so a well stroked in frame ball Karen Wilson one Murphy trails by 51 with 43 on the table a couple of snookers needed Phil said uh, two snookers to tie, of course, other ideas. Uh, getting a very difficult snooker on the last red, but for now, he's in a bit of a predicament already. Never mind trying to get snookers. How's he going to hit one? Unlikely Murphy can salvage this frame, but Wilson wants it over as quickly as possible. He doesn't want to expend any unnecessary mental energy. that's going to be very difficult to get the snookers now, on the assumption that Karen wins this frame which he probably will I think the frame that uh, is before the mid-session interval will be a big one because he can get a couple of frames lead back Murphy's pegged him back again Wilson has kind of made nothing of 
how well he's played today to be level. So the next frame providing Wilson wins this one is one that could really strike a blow. One. Murphy and remains frame. seated. Karen Wilson simply refuses to allow Murphy to hit the front. Wilson leads again at 6 5. <laughs> Trophy. Neil Robertson, he won it last year in dramatic circumstances coming back from 9-4 down to defeat John Higgins 10-9. Ronnie O'Sullivan is a former winner also. Stephen Maguire was the champion in 2020 behind closed doors in Milton Keynes due to the COVID-19 pandemic. The finest players, they're the ones who come good in this. It is a competition, Neil, for the elite. Yeah, and it was always going to be hard to argue that these are the best two players on the week. They have been. They've been superb, especially Kyron. Obviously, Sean Murphy was very good last night. He had his win against Rob Milkins from 5-1 down. He didn't look in the same form as he did in Wolverhampton, but this final I think has got a long way to go. A lot of mileage left in it, but it's very Thank interesting. Frame falls. Sean Murphy to break. Set it down now, please. Thank you. Thank you. Just call that pack slightly askew, hence a red coming back up the table. Occupational hazard to leave a long red to a top pocket, but when you leave one to a middle off the break, that's entirely your own fault. Oh, I tell you what, in the last four frames this afternoon, Kyron Wilson had a very unkind run. I would agree. He was unlucky towards the end of that match not to pick up one of the four frames in the second half. Seven. 
Just thinking, you know, Wilson thrown an awful lot at Murphy today so far. And yet, he's only got a one-frame lead. Murphy, resolute. When these two met in the semi-final of the World Championship in 2021, Wilson had four centuries. Did him no good. 14. Twenty. Twenty one. Once again, disturbing reds here. Twenty eight. Developing them, perhaps. Is to get the cue ball out of there onto the black. Played it gently. Didn't really move the reds very much. Well, he might have stunned it, but maybe he felt that had he done so, the cuba wouldn't have come through onto the black very easily. Now it's hard to keep the break going. <laughs> mm, not his sort of shot, really. Just drop it in and play for red up the table. He's better off when he can hit them with more pace and punch them in. Just like this, he could split them far and wide. Very important shot, this one. Mm, well, he didn't really get the bunch. He might feel a bit unlucky there. He hadn't played a good Thank shot, to be honest. But he got into the underside of the bunch. He'd been OK, but he just caught the edge. That wasn't particularly well played this time. Shot, I think. We've already uh, shown our hot shots, but that might be one that you could add to the reel. Certainly played it. <laughs> Not a shot you'd practice, he just improvised there. But maybe a more important shot would be could he this time get the bunch open? Play it from the green, maybe you earn two cushions. Oh, this is good. Very good. 
Brilliant. Two superb shots in a row. The green wasn't unconventional, it was on the button. The double most certainly was, though, as indeed was the red to finally clinch the previous frame. He's imaginative, is Corin Wilson, a shot maker. 13. In the, in the big finals, what you always remember, either a glaring mistake or some shot-making brilliance. 21. It's been the latter in this frame. That double to keep things going. And then the green. Two of the very best. As we know, we've played two really good shots during this break, but I feel that this contribution is a very significant one, I think, if he can get that lead a couple of frames back from falling where he was earlier, pegged back then. Be a successful evening. It must have been, might be a slightly uncomfortable break between sessions, having lost all those frames. But this would get him back on track and some, I think. Thirty-seven. <laughs> Let's put it this way. If he failed 44. from here, it would be a source of major dejection for Wilson. 45. This is just as routine as it comes. There's judgment 52. there, though. Yeah, it didn't cause him too many problems. You're all heading the cue ball onto a colour, but still just got to find a way behind the next red. Shouldn't be a problem. Yet another half century 
the last red and any colour will do. Oh, is that a massive turning point? Neil, they're hard to stomach, aren't they? It was such a terrific break, those early shots he played, but now he's kind of undone all the, the good work in one shot. It will only mean anything if Sean Murphy takes his frame, which, to be honest, he would give him a good chance to do. He's playing on the black. He does not want to be anywhere near straight on it. His getting to yellow would be difficult then. Once he gets in behind the yellow, you feel that he's got a good chance of clearing these. <coughs> Don't know why he missed this. I didn't expect that. He was on it perfectly, but some of the balls he'd potted were more difficult than the one he missed. They're not playing on the black, but he's finished in between. Might look at the green here. It's the most direct route to the yellow. Wouldn't have been what, what he played on, but surely at this stage it has to be the green. Oh, if you need police, uh, could you please do it quickly? It's leaving uh, for the mid session interval early. But it's a very important shot. Because the delay couldn't have done him any good. Four. Six. Well, I suppose he could miss one of these, but it's hard to foresee it and I'm sure Kyron Wilson is clinging on to any hope that he still wins his frame but he must be absolutely hopping mad at the ball he missed how did he miss that red after all of the good work he did to get there Murphy 17 adrift so he needs all of them to snatch it on the black as he did in frame 8 If he was straighter on this, it looked almost a formality, but he had no. a slight angle, which means your key was coming across possibly the wrong side of the blue for the pink. I feel that he'll overcome all of that, but it's just something, just a glimmer for Kyron Wilson here, where the balls are. Okay. Maybe we'll have to play around a couple of cushions and then he's got to get right on the pink for the black so this cue ball is running quite a long way here he's played it absolutely superbly that is A1 and this feels like a big frame to me Certain Dwayne, shots four. really hurt. The last red Wilson missed most certainly will as he goes into the mid-session interval. Yeah, Wilson was a win, 
touching distance of 7-5. In reality, it is 6-6. And this wonderful final takes another turn. Better for the fans here in Hull and everyone watching at home. Sean Murphy has won a couple of really important frames. Killer clearances. Karen Wilson knows he could be, maybe should be further up, maybe should be in front here. But Thank you, frame 30. It's still a title Kyle to be won. It's about break. looking ahead, not back. On, they call him the warrior, and this is a battle. Great atmosphere in here as well this evening, as there should be, of course, for the final night. Yes, wonderful atmosphere indeed, and <coughs> maybe interesting to see. I know you see the beautiful Elmas Arena from the back of the hall. Capacity crowd in tonight. Captivated, as indeed we all are. I'm intrigued at how this final is going to unfold. How dramatic that last frame could prove to be. He's had a few minutes to get over it, Corin Wilson, but he definitely would have been reeling at the interval. Missing that last red. Could have had a 7-5 lead. May prove costly. Shot, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, Sean. Well, if he just come off the side cushion, nestle into the back. Sometimes when you lose a frame like that as well, David, it, the interval has probably come at a good time because he's got that 15 minutes or so just to clear his head rather than be getting on with the next frame straight away and the head is still a little bit fuzzy yeah you may welcome the chance to just get out of the arena in this environment this big match environment just take a few minutes to collect his thoughts it's easy to say this is but he can't change what's happened all he can affect now is what's ahead of him it's still all to play for effectively a best of seven now Trying to swing there. Oh, well, Tony Munis swung the cue ball around. On well, four cushions and back to ball, but maybe a little bit worried about the the reds on the right hand side of the table. <coughs> Both these players are such good long potters then. You know, just the ordinary safety shot back to Bork. Doesn't quite cut it at this level. Got to make sure that you're not leaving a possible pot on, because if you do, more than likely, your opponent's going to knock it in. And that's what they're just a little bit fearful of here. Shot time just over a minute. Trying to cover these reds into the right corner with the blue. We'll have a look down the line. I don't think that red that he's played. He's got the cover on all the reds there, but the red he played in and out of ball has come into a position now. And Corrin can take this red on. Now you see it. And possibly come off two cushions and be on the black. <coughs> it's almost like a free shot, this. Oh, well.
well. It's a free shot if he doesn't get the double kiss. That's the last thing he wanted. He was expecting it to get a little bit closer. Wouldn't have got the double kiss now. Chance for Murphy. Yeah, Sean Murphy's never been in front in the final. Maybe this is the moment he makes his move. You could see when he made that clearance again. You can always tell the player stays down on the last ball. You can just see what it means and the recognition of what it means in the context of the match as well, what it does to your opponent. Second time he's done it in this final. Yeah, it's, it's okay. He's on the black, but he certainly would have loved to have been a little bit closer to the black with the cue ball. And as he hit this hard enough, and that's the problem, is if he gets a bit closer with the cue ball to the Eight. black, his position on the next red would have been straightforward. I don't think he's hit this hard enough. He hasn't. He's not on the intended red. Well, he's looking at a plant, but extremely risky this is. He's played a few, hasn't he, this week? Some he's got, but some he's missed by quite some distance. But this is dangerous. Oh, that's very good. It's excellent. So difficult when there's so much of a gap between the reds, but well, beautifully played. It's a different sort of challenge this to the players championship where he was just blowing everyone away of course every match he's played this week has been close he was 5-1 down to milkins won 10-8 of course last night had to hold off the selby comeback came through in the decider oh and there's an unexpected miss it's getting a bit edgy which is maybe no great surprise Such a great cue action. You expect him to pop those. One. <coughs> Worth saying, though, this tour championship, it's a season-long affair, isn't it? Because the first thing is to get in it, and you have to be on the top eight on the one-seasons list. And then, once you're here, what a chance to win a, a big, big prize. Eight. Yeah, it's a wonderful tournament. Best of 19, first round. Only eight players. It's almost like every match is like a final. And particularly tonight, with a full capacity. Bonus, all arena. Oh, Nine. <laughs> It wiped its feet for sure. He wasn't quite sure whether that was going to drop, just the pace. And he had her. That was staying over the pocket. It's such a big night for Karen Wilson. He's won five ranking titles, but... He's been close to winning some real majors, of course. He's been running up at the World Championship, running up at the Masters, running up at the Champion of Champions. He wants to land one of these big titles. 17. 
the fact he's getting to all those finals tells you how good he is. He's won some big matches on some big stages, but he's not happy, of course, if he's not driving home with the trophy. Reds from the blue. Will he play this red and screw up to try and get top side of the blue, or he or play for the black? Twenty-three. Wouldn't surprise me if he screws back for the blue here. Yeah, blue it is. And well, he's got a nice angle. He's played that very well. It's a good time to probably go into the pack because if he slides off the pack on the right hand side, he wants to hit that apex red of the pack, of course, full ball. But if he doesn't, he always has the loose red to the right of it. Doesn't want to lose the cue ball here. Hit it absolutely spot on. And I tell you what, at first glance, it's not great. He's been very unlucky. Couldn't have played that any better. You always need a bit of luck when you're trying to smash into the pack and open the reds, but we're all blocking each other. Once again, possible plant, but you see the distance between the two reds. It does have a cut on a red as well. Is he going to play? It's going to be the cut. Yeah, superb. He played the split so well. He could have had a much easier pot than this, but he's knocked it in. He's on a colour, so he can now reap the benefits of having got the reds open. Try and get back into that mode he was in when he started the match. I mean, he started today like an express train. He had breaks of 108, 84, 62, 111. It's going to be hard to sustain that, but this is where he needs to try and get back to that sort of snooker. Particularly as Murphy has slipped up in this frame himself, missing that red. I'm a bit surprised at that choice of shot. He's actually tried to get on the red left of the pink and the black there. Didn't get the enough backspin on that cue ball. And he's left with a difficult red with the rest and the extension. He's so good with the rest. I mean, his, his, his rest pot success in the tournament is 94%. 18 out of 18 in this match alone. Well, that's his first miss, and it could be a very significant one. All right, it wasn't easy, but I'm just fancy with that bit of equipment. It's got very tense, this match, as you, I guess, would expect as we near the finishing line. Yeah, these are the two best players in the world with the implement, the rest implement. I made a good one here, and he's got one. one. And he's got one right top side of the blue as well. Perfect. Yeah, this wasn't easy. Stretching with the extension. Normally. 
so proficient with the rest what he has been only one from 19 missed Murphy only one from 13 missed just having a look that pink is it open is it available that's what he's thinking a few shots time if he puts a red can he get on the pink six and open up that pink and black he does have a slight angle on one of these reds he could play into pink and black if he wished now he's going back up for blue Seven. Eighteen. Nineteen. Still struggling to get top side of that blue. Has he got enough of an angle? Get close. Let's have a look. Almost dead straight on that blue, I feel. May have to play red for mid distance. Cue ball's not gone far enough, so that's why he has to use the rest. 24. He would have preferred that cue ball. Another six or eight inches left of its position. But once again, he's just so good with the rest, as indeed his opponent is. It's okay. 25. It's not too bad. We can play the blue or the yellow here. Pink and black has caused a problem for him in this break. And I'm just thinking, Dave, that those two reds on the left hand side are pretty close to each other. 30. They're not in a direct line into the corner pocket, but it may be another plant that could be made. Maybe try to split them off from that red and still get up close to the blue, but it was very risky. It wouldn't surprise me if he refused the pot here. Yeah, I mean, to play this and clip one of these reds and get on the blue, well, I was asking a lot. Brown ball. So he leads by 13. It was funny, myself and Neil were saying earlier how there hadn't been any close frames, but of course we had the one at the end of the first session, we had the one pre-interval, this is another one. Pot. 
close to the ball cushion. He's got the split on the pink and black, but the angle on the black is not ideal to get close to the red. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed it. As he left the red. Kyron Wilson won. Is the red on? Can it go by the black? We'll soon find out. Well, I think there's enough room. It's very tight. He's having a good look, but well, you've got to be. It does pot. It has to be so accurate here. It's there. Good shot, and he's on the block. Quick look at the scoreboard. As you see, this pot. 13 ahead, black will be 20, so yellow and green just required. And he's got to avoid the middle pocket here. Right centre pocket with the cue ball. Got it just tipped before there, and it should be pretty good. It looks very good. Very, very good indeed. He'll settle for that. Eight. Well, they've both made errors in this frame, but Sean Murphy needs yellow and green. He pushed the brown safish early. It was a bit of a gamble, really. He might have needed it, but he doesn't. He needs yellow and green, and it should be him in front for the first time. Just want to be very careful with that pink. Feels like it's turned into the battle of the rest players, isn't it? Here's another one for Murphy. And another one dispatched. <coughs> yep. Ten. So the green required and Wilson will need a snooker. Sean Murphy poised to take the lead in this final for the first time. Yeah, just double checking. Green put him 25 ahead with 22 remaining, so one four point snooker required. He's left the double. But just gotta be careful. Might play the double here. He could play the cue ball down behind the black. Yeah, he's playing the cue ball behind the black. Good line, but maybe a little bit too heavy. So one snooker required for Karen Wilson, but the pink <coughs> not in a bad position for snookers. <coughs> this looks very good, as I said, it's not in a bad position. What a shot he's played here. Excellent shot. Very, very good indeed. And this is missable. The pink is very close to the cue ball, which means the swerve, well, was difficult. Murphy's uh, snooker escape on the last red in frame eight was one of the key shots of the match. Kept him in that session. Can he pull out another one? He could overswerve this, so he's got to be careful. Oh. Oh. oh, what a shot. What a... Incredible. He's pulled off some shots in this match, but there's another one. That was a difficult swerve. And the pot, the brown, well, incredible. Well, 29 in it, 18 on Wilson stays where he is. So for the first time today, Sean Murphy is in front. He leads the Tour Championship final 
Well, we've seen another dramatic frame in Thank what's you, turning into a very dramatic Sean final. Sean Murphy is edged in front for the first time. 7-6, he needs three more and he's champion. Thank you. Only Ronnie O'Sullivan and Neil Robertson have won the three player series titles, but of course Sean Murphy's already won the World Grand Prix back in 2016. He's won the Players' Championship this year. So he's looking to complete the hat trick. Karen Wilson just seems to <laughs> keep coming up against, uh, well, mistakes, yes, from him, his own point of view, some bad luck along the way also, and also, of course, Murphy producing the goods when he has to. That's why the finals turned round. He was 4 up, remember? A long way away from that, and that may be just the result of that last frame. A little bit of frustration there. Didn't need to go for that red. It was tight on the ball cushion. It was difficult enough. Maybe just trying to force the issue, get back in. After a bad frame to lose for Corin Wilson. A couple of them now. One. Just while we watch Sean go about his business, congratulations to Paul Deville. He's an 18-year-old, and today he's beaten Leo Eight. Fernandez in Warsaw to win the English Amateur Championship. That's Luca's oldest tournament, first held in 1916, and he's the youngest winner for 20 years. Nine. I hope to see him on tour soon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. congratulations. Wonderful tournament, English Amateur, steeped in tradition, of course. Nice little cannon just brushing that red away. 60. The red here, he's got a nice angle on this red. Pot this red into the bottom of the pack here. Still stay on the black. Lovely, beautiful control. 17. Very nice indeed. He's coming around, I think the red. Yeah, in the middle of the pack there you see, just pots into the same pocket where he's Gonna put the black. She's also got the two reds. Left of the blue as well. He sort of put put the cue ball 24. in an area. Twenty-five. He's got that spring in his step again, hasn't he, David? You know those couple of. Big frames that he's won. The one, the last one at a in session interval. And that one earlier today to go 4 4. Huge frames in this match. It's really swung the pendulum. And he looks to be full of confidence. Yeah, he looks the more at ease of the two, certainly. I think one of the key moments of the day was actually the Thirty very start three. of frame five. Remember, he's 4-0 down. He'd been sort of beaten up for four frames. First shot he got, he knocked in a long red, made 75 off it. That was the start of it. He showed that he'd used that 15-minute interval well, got his mind clear, decided what he was going to do. And now, as I say, he's looking certainly the stronger of the two.
39. No reds available. 40. So, once again, into the, the reds here. It doesn't want to hit the pink full ball this time. Just the reds, just to the right of it, maybe. A bit of pace. 's hit that red perfect how's your look it's okay it's not too bad 45 may need yeah the extended rest and the extension here he's got to negotiate the cue ball between red and black. He's got to avoid the pink as well on the left-hand side of the table. <laughs> Just contemplating. What do I play? Do I try and hold for the black or do I try and avoid the black and back up for blue? Back up for blue it is. Blue or ball colour. Thank you. This could be the key shot. May play for the loose one. He's not going into the pack this time. He gets on this red. He has done. Just one more shot. It's just to split those four reds. 51. To win the frame. Perfect angle on the black. Key shot coming up here. Mm. Well, could have been nicer. It's not ideal. I think the red into the left centre does cut, but. Coming around, having a look at the angle, but this is, yeah, it's missable. points blue will be 65 still 67 remaining not out of his opponent's grasp just yet one more red after this blue required giving it every thought and every ounce of concentration here This red for 86. Yeah, very impressive. This is the best he's played all day. At the key moments in the match, this will be three on the spin for Sean Murphy. Remember, he wasn't even in these tournaments last year, didn't get even in the World Grand Prix, never mind the players in the Tour Championship. So it's been a real turnaround this season. And he's maintaining this uh, form that he's shown the last few weeks. He's runner-up in the Welsh Open. He won the Players' Championship. And he's going to be two frames away here from winning the Tour Championship. 72. And when he hits his stride, it's very hard to knock him out of it. You know, he's such a confident competitor, Sean Murphy, and we're seeing that here. Great stomp around the table, hasn't he? That great swagger which you need. You need self confidence in this sport. You've got to back yourself. 
Yeah, it was his confidence. Well, 85. He's playing, without doubt. Somewhere near his best. And he has been for a few months. He's starting to go through the gears. And this looks pretty good as well. Have a look at this first shot right behind the red. What a positional shot this is. Fantastic. Nice angle on the red just to drop it down the cushion into the pocket. Yeah, perfect. Nine, four. What a break this is. Just have to work very, very hard. Look, one yellow, one brown, five blues, one pink, six blacks. This black for his second century of the evening. And just illustrates the extent to which he's taken control of the final. He's 45th century of the season, so he's joint top of the list now with Judd Trump and Neil Robertson. He's made his move, and it's up now to Karen Wilson to find some sort of response. He was in control of this final at one point, but it's slipping away. One hundred and six. One hundred and ten. Murphy is now hitting the ball like a dream. So. Wilson's going to have to get in early in frames and do what he was doing right at the start, which was making the breaks. 115. Stop it, Sean. <laughs> oh, very close. 115. Terrific break from Sean Murphy, his second century of the night, and he's now just two away from victory. Leading 8-6. So, Sean Murphy very much in the ascendancy here. He's won the last three frames, the most recent 115 break. Of course, he'd won the 12th frame with a, a really good clearance. Corin Wilson just out of the arena, just uh, trying, I'm sure, pull himself together because it's not over yet. We've seen matches turn around from here, of course, but the problem is Murphy's starting to look really, really good. Yeah, but still a long way to go. There could be a few twists and turns, but that man has control at the moment. From 4 0 down, it's been an incredible comeback, hasn't it? Yeah, I mean, he's pinched a couple, which of course have made a, a difference not just to the scoreline but psychologically, but he's also now scoring. So it's about Wilson. If he gets chances, he really has got to take them because Murphy's looking very dangerous. As we come to the end of this uh, player's series, it's been uh, a memorable three tournaments as ever. Of course, the field reduces from one event to another. This is just on the one season list so okay there's a few of the stars not here but the players that are here deserve to be and they produce the goods haven't they this week oh it's been fantastic i mean the 147 the 16 red clearings the six centuries from Corin in the semi-final take your seats please and we've had a host of great matches Thank you, as well 15. wonderful Kyle snooker to break. and a wonderful place Thank you. to play snooker as well wonderful crowd tonight Karen Wilson would like to be here a bit longer. He needs to dig in here. He's only two in it, but of course, if Murphy wins another one, he's only one from victory. This is frame 15. The one thing Karen Wilson is blessed with is temperament. And he will keep fighting. As long as he has a chance, he certainly won't be thrown in any towels. This match is not over just yet. OK, the tide is torn, but it can easily turn back very quickly. I've seen it happen so many times.
Is he taking this red on? Is he taking it on? He certainly is. Is he pushing the boat out a little bit too much? Red in the previous frame was very difficult. That was another one. Very low percentage. It's quite an interesting point what Alan McManus made. Uh, Sean Murphy over this, and it may be only over this last season, has become more of a match player. You know, he's got more match play sort of instincts now than he's ever had. I don't know whether that's just more experience, even everything that he's won he just his all-round game is is better now and it has been these last well five or six months since he's back to his form even around the table you watch him his concentration you take his time he look down on the ground he's just gathering his thoughts he knows this is a crunch time in this match he's seen his opponent push the boat out thank you yeah, now is the time to strike. Doesn't want to let up. Yeah, I mean, the very fact he's stolen a couple of frames with clearances. Last night he held off Mark Selby, one of the all-time great match players. Definitely got more steel about him, I think, in general, in his game. Nineteen. This is a shot that he's normally very good at. He put the red to the pack, split the pack. Try and be on a call. As you, oh, is he on the pink? He's had a quick 20. look. I'm not quite sure. He's walking around. Is that pink potable? Oh, it's close may come back around from the back of the pocket and have a look. Well, he, he could be millimetres away from 9-6 here. This is how big this is. are so close together this is very missable yeah it's very missable very very missable or he could be millimeters away from eight seven that was the difference here on this shot pink caught the red it's handed wilson the chance he's been looking for and at this stage of the final he's surely got to take it there's the time since he's last potted a ball 22 and a half minutes One. So he's in, and of course we know from what we've seen in this tournament, he can get on a roll, Karen Wilson, he can score frame after frame. Remember, all three matches he's played, he's been 4-0 up in. Four.
fix. Seven. A little bit of adrenaline creeping in to the arm of Corin Wilson. I'm quite sure that was a big bounce. I mean, it looked like he hit it pretty pacey. That's what adrenaline does to you. <coughs> Start to hit the ball a little bit harder. We're still okay. I don't think he missed this blue and he has options with reds. Safely in. Good recovery. Twenty. So scores all level. He will check the scores at some stage. He, he those two reds are just past the right middle pocket. Doesn't have to worry about those two. We may gather enough points with high value colours with the loose reds. That will be on his mind, I'm sure. Twenty-eight. I think the encouraging thing here for Karen Wilson supporters, he's back in that pace he was at earlier on. He's just getting on with it, not prevaricating, looking for problems. 34. Sensing a real opportunity here in a match that was slipping away from him. 35. Wow. Would you believe 42. it? He tried to bring the red away from this right hand side cushion Todd he couldn't miss it but have a look at the kiss on the blue Todd if he missed that red he was still going to be on the red into the left center but it's gone wrong wow and what a shot he's left with here if he takes this red on a little Roy smiled to himself but he'll be absolutely reeling inside This is a tough part to take on. If he takes it on and misses it, he's bound to leave a red. Doesn't want to play a safety shot. He wants to keep going, but it could be costly. Can't put the cue ball 
into the bulk area for fear of leaving that red over the left center. If you got the cue ball somewhere behind the black, that would be ideal. Send the red back up the balk. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. He took it on. He thought there was no option. What a wonderful pop that is. Yes, and shots like that could make a difference between winning and losing had he missed it he could well have been 9-6 the fact that he's got it he's given himself a chance still to close to 8-7 46 Lance had to score 26 points behind, so still a bit of work to do. Two reds and blacks, even with these two, won't be enough to leave his opponent needing a snooker. So he's going to need one of those safe reds. The ideal colour to take. I'm thinking a couple of shots away, but the ideal colour to take one of those reds out on the right hand side cushion will be the green. So that's maybe what he's eyeing up. Pink, pink, red, green. Knock one of those reds out into open play. 53. Well, maybe. Maybe could do it with the pink as well. He's having a look at the pink now. It'd be a little bit more difficult from the pink, but. Attempt, but it's gone wrong. It was so much more difficult from the pink, and you're taking a bit of chance. It was a great effort. <laughs> he has been unfortunate. Yeah, he sort of gestured to our box as if to say, "Just give me a break." <laughs> just, just lands on a red there. It's frame to him. Having to settle for safety, 40 in front, 43 on. Remember, he's had a couple of frames stolen from him on the black. But he's sort of keeping his sense of humour just about. And just about is enough in this game.
center here from Corin Wilson does he take the red on into the yellow pocket as we look doesn't have to could try and get the cue ball back down towards pink and black keep the, the red up in the bulk area 40 point lead means that if Sean Murphy gets a chance. He needs to high value colours with the two reds. Looks like he's shaping up. He doesn't want to refuse anything at the moment. He's taking it on. There you go, Karen. You've had a bit. You've had a bit of luck at the right time. I think he's felt the running's been going against him. I tell you what, he'll take this all day long. So suddenly, Murphy needs snookers. He's turning into one of those nights again. <laughs> A lot can happen yet as well. Absolutely. Karen Wilson won. <laughs> Never ceases to amaze you what can happen on this 12 by 6 green bays. Two snookers required. <laughs> Looks pretty good, is it? Has he covered it? No, he hasn't. One. So pink, he'd be 34 behind. 27 on, still two snookers. Has to go in though. We've seen just how dramatic this sport can be. It's 10 years since snooker came back onto ITV. It started. Seven. Pretty small, Jill Douglas and Neil Foles having to get up at four in the morning to present that tournament from China. But of course, the drama this sport can produce, that's why all these tournaments have come on board. It's because the audience is out there, they're fascinated by just the way the game can go. Little bits of luck as well that we've seen can turn things. It's a sporting battle, but it's also a psychological duel as well. And you really feel for the, the guys out there. It means everything to them, of course. Only one, of course, can take the trophy tonight. Yeah, for all the, the great breaks that we've seen, century breaks, 147, even 16 red clearances this week. Nothing like dramatic frames like this. We've seen quite a few of them already in this final. Very good. Excellent escape. Yeah, this is getting you in the mood, Ken, for the World Qualifiers, <laughs> which you were involved in this week. Mm. Don't remind me. <laughs> Good effort, but short of pace.
Yeah, Wilson is in control, but not there yet. He played one of the most extraordinary frames we've ever seen, that decider against Anthony McGill at the Crucible three years ago in the semis, so he knows that all sorts of things can happen yet. But that fluke, I know he's in front in the frame, but that fluke... It could be a real turning point because you could tell, looking at him, he thought to that point he was getting no running at all. Suddenly he had some. Now he has a chance to put the yellow away. It's not in, though. Send the green towards the pink and get that cue ball behind the brown. It's one of his options. A little bit pacey. Yeah, just a Some bit. done that a few times now a chance black is not in a bad position here i wonder can he try and hide the cue ball off this top cushion in behind the black it's no good oh. yeah and sean murphy has conceded the frame so Karen wilson has stopped the rot he'd lost the previous three there's one in it again at eight seven Thank you, Frame 16. Well, this Sean Tour Murphy Championship to final has Take turned sit, into please. a real Thank old you. tussle now. 8 7 to Sean Murphy. Karen Wilson has just won the last frame. Murphy was looking really confident going into it, but it's now got a lot closer. Just everyone's having to settle down here. Yeah, he missed that pink where he just caught the other red. It was so close. Such a tight sort of angle into the pocket, and that made a difference. Wilson got in front, then he fluked. Frame ball red. It's all happening. Possible four frames still to go to decide the winner. This is what we love on a Sunday night a nice close snooker final. <laughs> yeah, nothing better. Not a possible. Pot here, this red into this corner pocket. He's got to avoid red left of the blue on the way back. If he misses it, 
he avoid the red? He does. The brown. He hasn't avoided. He's left a half a chance now. <clears throat> if he takes the red on and plays for blue, we'll could leave a couple of reds. I'm just wondering, will he play down for the black? No. Well. <laughs> He didn't play for either, he played for the green, and he cued it in. Well, wow. oh, sweet as a nut. Beautiful. Missed one of these reds earlier to the right jaw of the pocket. This time, Six. right in the heart of the pocket. Reds are all blocking each other, so he's going to have to play some sort of little cannon here. It's okay. Thirteen. Well, I say it's okay. I thought that red was on into this corner pocket. It's actually gone wrong. What's he spotted? Is he having a look at a plant? Oh. Possible plant, these two reds. And he's played a couple of plants already. He's pretty good at them. But got to make it. He has. He's got to make it. And he has done. Ooh, wanted a better kiss on the yellow. Okay. Yellow ball. <laughs> Sean Murphy Ford. Both in the nineties, pot success, Murphy just in front ninety three percent plays ninety one, pretty high standard. tournament look at that 92 percent each so it's been a high standard of course you remember well Karen Wilson's last match with the six centuries that was sensational Sean Murphy's had two very tight matches coming in and this is another one in the final he may be on this red up into the green pocket oh he certainly is He's pulling out some shots this evening. Both players are. This time, he's got to dig down on the cue ball. Ah, oh, that's a wonderful shot. He very easily missed that shot. As I said, he raised the board of the cue, digging down on the cue hey. ball to get into the of reds and hold it for red into this right corner wonderful shot that nine 
שניים. Fifteen. Side of the blue, it's got a slight angle. There you see it just past the line from pocket to pocket. But the pink is slightly in the way, he's got it get close to that pink here. Needs to slow up. Yeah, the pink was in the way, it's gone wrong. He's on a red with the rest, Plenty. but. Prefer to be in on an easier one. Nineteen from twenty. He's parted with the rest in this match already. Not many as important as this. And he's got it again. Yeah, just went in so cleanly, didn't it? Right in the middle of the pocket. There's the match stats for a response success. Both excellent. Both missed just one each. One of his strengths, and he's got many, is he just exudes this sort of calm demeanour. Whatever's happened. He always looks like he's lo looking forward to playing the next frame. Quite hard to rattle. Twenty-nine. He's one of these players, Sean, he'd be watching if he wasn't playing. Some players like to sort of think the tournament's not on if they've been knocked out. Not sure Murphy, he just loves it. Pure snooker man. Six. Mm, quick glance at the score. Thirty-seven. The bottom red of that line of three pots into the right corner pocket. That may be his next choice. This has been a wonderful break. Another. Perfect positional shot, 58 44. ahead, 75 remaining. So he needs red, colour red. To go two up with a possible treat to play. 45. Yeah, like I say, this has been very cool. He wouldn't have known he lost the last frame the way he did. Wilson fluke in that red. Yeah, this break 52. has been exemplary. 53. And that is the important red. And he's taken these with the greatest of these. Magnificent response. Well, then, Sean. well, all season long leading into the new year, he was saying, 60. my game is trending in the right direction. He was telling people he was feeling confident. He thought 61. things were improving. We started to see it. 
in the new year, of course, in Wales, where he played so well, just was picked at the line by the Milkman. But my word, we saw it come out at the Players' Championship, and we've seen it again this week. He's been challenged, of course, close matches, came back 60. against Milkins, held off Selby. Right now, he's going to be a frame from becoming tour champion. This is one of the 69. hardest tournaments to win because it's one of the hardest tournaments to get it in the first place. Just eight players came here to Hull. Will Shaw Murphy be the last man standing? It's up to Kyron Wilson again to try and find something. 76. Seventy-seven. He only made 16 centuries last season. If he makes one here, it'll be 46 for this campaign. And that will be the most anyone's made this season. 84. Yeah, that's what great champions do. When it's put up to them, they respond. 84. And we certainly respond in here. That yellow past the brown. Ninety. Certainly does. And it's there. Ninety-two. All the control that he's demonstrated in this break has been just exemplary. You wouldn't know it was eight-seven in a 95. major final the way he's gone about these. No, he's been inch perfect, hasn't he? And there's one time he went out of position. He had to. Get back in position with a good rest. Oh, and out of nowhere, he misses the brown. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> he doesn't know. Maybe a slight miscue there. Anyway, 95 will do. He's 9-7 up, and he's one away from the title. What has he got left? He certainly... He'll give it his all. We call him the warrior. He's got a big heart and he's got great temperament. And he's going to have to play with now Miss Snooker to beat this man in the driving seat. One frame and lift from that cup. But Thank you, friend 17. Kyron they always on say, the David, Thank you. The one to win. So the down, hardest please. one to win. Remains to be seen. Yeah, and. It's all very well as saying Wilson's got to take his chance. He's got to get one first. You know, Murphy gets in first. That might be it from his perspective. Crowd gave both players good ovation as they returned. It's been a really great game, this. An aggressive safety shot here. Mm -hmm. Gotta be careful it doesn't knock a red towards the corner pocket. <laughs> yeah, good cue ball, but he has left one red. And Corin Wilson, well, he hasn't refused anything tonight. He's certainly not gonna refuse this. There's a pathway. To try and drop onto the black into the opposite corner. Oh, what a shot! He didn't play on the black, but what a pop! One. Found the gap back to Balk, and it's okay. He's on the green into the left center, but this is a wonderful pot. Lots of pressure. Well, pressure on every shot now. This is a bigger shot. There's no safety in this one. He's got to get it. And he has got it. Four. You need a lot of nerve to play this game at the highest level. 
and he's demonstrated it there. Five. say about Corin Wilson is twelve temperament is unquestionable. Thirteen. See that coming. That's just pressure. Well, I said he might not get the chance. He got it. He got in really well with a good red, a good green, but now it's out of his hands. Sean Murphy with his first chance to win this title. Traveled a little bit further up the table than he would have liked. He's got a slight angle on the black, but not the desired angle he has. Force the cue ball through. Six. Possible red into the left center. that shot but 24 he was wrong angle he had to really cue that sweetly to get the action on the cue ball back up for the red and let's have a look at this he's almost straight cued it beautifully Stolen a couple of key frames today, two frames on the black. And just put pressure on Wilson, who made the early running. Make no mistake, he was under it when he was at the table in this frame as well. It was a good chance, though. Will he get another now? Yeah, that black 
was a, a bit of a shock, I must say, from Karen Wilson. He potted wonderful long red, wonderful green. Carved out, great opportunity for himself. And then oh, it's black. You can't miss at this level. Black's off the spot. Thirty-three. Didn't really, wasn't really deal much with the cue ball. He's just dropping the black in, but hit that near jaw. And that was it. Awkward. Put a red into the left corner. Just run on that fraction. Really wanted to stop it right there. It's not good. Black is cuttable, but how does he control the cue ball? Can he reach it? He's got that sort of pain smile on his face, which tells you he's in bits after this. He just needed to get on the black. The match was probably over. You're going to have to wait. Oh, yeah, and he's glued current to the ball cushion. He's got the green in a safe position with a 26-point lead. That may come into play, but how does Corrin get this safe? This may take some time work, working out. Not straightforward this by any means. <coughs> Sometimes when you're backed into a corner like this, they may come out fighting and trying to pot your way out of trouble. Don't think he's gonna take this red on and Trying to find a route back to Bog, but... Paul, and a miss. Sean Murphy, four. <laughs> I'm not quite sure what he was trying. Is he playing off two cushions, trying to clip one of these reds on the left-hand side of the table? Maybe he is. He's trying to clip, maybe. Those two reds are very close together. Trying to clip them on the way back up the table. Well, it's such an intricate shot, isn't it? If he gets them too thick, he's leaving the lot on. He may have one more go. Sean, thank you. But if he misses it this time, he'll be warned. It's an extravagant shot, this. It was close, but now he's in trouble. Sean Murphy, four. Yeah, he can't play that again because you can see a red fall the warning will come. We don't want the final to end like this. Mm. So now... <laughs> there you go, and he knows what's coming. <laughs> no, we don't want to see that, Kyron. Definitely don't want to see that. <laughs> well, he's taking it in good spirits with all the pressure that's on him. That's really, really nice to see. At this level of sport, what does he do? Is he going to be forced into having a go at this red? Is he going to try and leave the cue ball near his top cushion? Match has been going just over five hours. Colin Wilson needs to find something here to keep it going. A bit longer. 
May fairly has to take this on. Doesn't want to go down playing a, a bad safety shot. If he's going to go down, he might go down fighting. Is he going to take this red on? He was in trouble. And now he's in more because Sean Murphy comes back to the table. 34 in front with his second chance to wrap this up. One. And what a turnaround in fortunes this season for Sean Murphy. It was Winston Churchill who defined success as going from failure to failure without any loss of enthusiasm. Sean Murphy was nowhere last season. He wasn't in any of the players' series events, but his enthusiasm for snooker, his love of the sport, has helped him drag himself out of the doldrums. Hey. And now this is an all-time high, a chance to win another big, big title, hot on the heels of the players' championship, going into the biggest one Nine. of all, the world championship. Yeah, he's only a few putts away now. One. What a turnaround. And what a turnaround in this match alone. 4 0 down. Didn't have any Six. table time. Two centuries from his opponent in those first four frames. Completely dominating the match. But the interval came at a good 17. time. Got himself together. And what a turnaround it's been. Yeah. And this blue will leave Karen Wilson needing snookers. It looks like Sean Murphy's title. There's always a twist in the tail in this sport. Two snookers needed, but he ain't there yet. That's why he's looking like that, because he knows things can happen yet. As long as they're still playing, things can happen. You can have to wait a bit longer for the presentations. Well, touch and ball, which is not too bad, because you can possibly put another colour safe here. So it gives them that advantage. Well, he's trying to hide the cue ball behind the green. I would have liked to have put a pink or blue safe there, maybe. Might have been a better option, but he's still in total control. May be the end. Red over the corner pocket. Yeah, he's going to let Murphy have his moment here. Karen Wilson has played some great snooker this week. He really has. Yeah. But Sean Murphy, yeah. he's just playing some terrific stuff this year. We've seen it really since the turn of the new year. Runner up in Wales, winner at the Players. And winner again here this evening. It'll be his 11th ranking title. Seven. Well played, Sean. Well played, Sean, says Karen Wilson. And the resurgence of Sean Murphy continues. Champion at the Players' Championship a few weeks ago. He's conquered the field at the Tour Championship here in Hull. He's beaten Karen Wilson by 10 frames to 7. And it's an all-time high for the magician. Ladies and gentlemen, what a week in Hull. And what a finish to our season on ITV. Another round of applause for both players, please. Kyron, at times this week you have played some absolutely brilliant snooker and having seen Sean take the lead, you were close, you were close to mounting the comeback, but not quite to be tonight. 
Yeah, two frames in particular that stick out. Um, you know, I've, I felt I was quite unlucky to not be five free up. Um, I had Sean in all sorts of trouble, and, and the next thing I know, I'm, I'm in trouble from an incredible escape. So um, I couldn't really do anything with a red, and I've stuck it over the middle. Sean held his bottle well and, and ended up four each. So a bit disappointed to not be five free up. And um, you know, I missed a bit of a, a tricky-ish red um, to go seven five up. And, you know, they're, they're big frames. And against somebody of Sean's class, you can't afford to do that. Overall, though... You have been superb this week, almost record-breaking with those six centuries in that match. And you've got great positives to take from this run heading into the Crucible. Yeah, you know, I've, it's been well documented. It's, it's been a very, very difficult month for me and my family. Um, it's great to have them up with me. You know, he's, he's living the dream. He's got VIP round his neck. So... <laughs> um, yeah, it's... Uh, you know, I've, I've literally had no practice at all coming into this event. So to achieve what I've achieved, um, it's a complete bonus to get to the final. So, yeah, look out for the Worlds when I've actually got some prep behind me. Listen, they don't call you the warrior for nothing. You have done the family proud, and we keep our fingers crossed that Bailey continues to get better. Thank you. Karen Wilson, ladies and gentlemen, and good luck for the Worlds. Wonderful in Wolverhampton and huge in Hull. You've done the double. Can't believe it. I'm absolutely over the moon. Um, you mentioned yesterday, you know, this is the first time I've ever won two ranking events in a season. You know, my career's been a little bit up and down, should have been better. But, you know, the last few months I've hit a real strong vein of form and I'm just delighted. Um, I would like to say just before we go any further, I, you know, I think Kyron is an absolute model, role model professional, does everything right on and off the table. And, you know, big things are coming for Kyron of that. There's no doubt. How, of course... How close is this? It's not the world's, but how close is this to the top of your list of achievements? You're now an 11-time ranking event winner. This is the big one. This is the top eight on the one-year list. This must mean a huge amount. Yeah, you know, the guys out in social media land call this the fourth major. So to get my name on it, to join Neil and Ronnie as the only players to have won all three of the Players Series events. Uh, and I think I've, you know, got the, the, the sort of um, all the set of the ITV events. Um, you know, I'm very, very proud. But uh, I've got some great people around me, some great support. This isn't a single, you know, this isn't a single effort. There's lots of people with me and I'm very thankful. Thank you. And you showed your class from 4-0 down. The only other time you've come from 4-0 down in a ranking final, you won the world crown in 05. The omens are good. I can't remember that long ago, to be honest with you, Rob. <laughs> Um, what I would say, I think about comebacks, you know, we're performers, we, we, we live for these moments being out here. This crowd over the weekend have been absolutely phenomenal. Thank you for your support, guys. You've been absolutely immense. And it, it gives us... It gives us that little extra something, you know. It, it gives us that little bit of extra fire. No one wants to play behind closed doors. Thank you for spending your money and coming to watch us. You made the difference. Thank you. Brilliant stuff. Sean, you are the tour champion. You are back to your best. Ladies and gentlemen, your champion in Hull, Sean Murphy. Now it's time for the official trophy presentations. Please welcome your presentation party, WPBSA chairman Jason Ferguson and Jewel Bits head of sportsbook, Ross Haffey. And now collecting his runners-up medal, please show your love and appreciation for the warrior, Kyron Wilson. And now we present to you the winner of £150,000 collecting the 2023 Jewel Bits Tour Championship Trophy. It's the magician, Sean Murphy!